Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. How you guys doing? Um, today is going to be a sheen haul and it's a pretty big box so I'm probably going to have to split this up half and half just to give you a heads up, okay? So let's go ahead and get into it. I always get a really good mix of items. I don't have the prices in front of me um, so I apologize for that. I know I gave the prices last time but they will vary according to how much you purchase and your discount, okay? Because, um, you know, sometimes I purchase a lot so I get a, a bigger discount. So here we go. This is a four, a 5XL. And when I saw this shirt, this is a plus size, I thought it was so cute because it has silver and it has all these cute sayings. It says, baby, yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so totally me. I love anything that sparkles, anything that blings, and this is totally me. So this is definitely gonna fit me um, because I always look, let's talk about this. The real real. Okay, she in plus size, any kind of clothing. You need to look at the measurements. When you scroll over the size, it gives you the measurements. It gives you the bust, the waist, the shoulders, here, it tells you how long it'll be because I need something that'll cover, excuse my terminology, my fupa, my stomach, and, it, and I need to cover it. I just, that's just me. I like to cover it. Even if it sticks out, out of my clothes, I just want it covered though. So I always have to make sure it's over a 31. A 31 or over anything, but anything under that, I know it's going to skim me. My fupa is going to be hanging out and I'm just not comfortable. And I know I need to have at least a 57, a 57, 58 or higher for bust for me to be comfortable because I'm a size 28 up here now. Okay. And this fits the bill. And this does have stretch on top of that. So it's really cute. It has this nice um, longer style sleeve to cover up the, um, the upper arms. And it's nice and long. So I could wear it with jeans or with a skirt. Next, what's in here? Um, I think this is a bag. I think this is a bag. It's like a tote bag, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it is a black and white short tote bag. Um, it's really cute, very thick fabric. Do you see that material? It's um, canvas, very thick canvas material, nice size strap. It has a, a button closure right here. So you can close it up and it does flatten out here at the bottom. So you have a little bit more space. So I got that. I put that one there. I love that just for use here at home. Honestly, I'm keeping it real. Then I do have another item here that's clothing. This is a 5XL. And let's see what she looks like. Let's see if this is going to work. All right, let's see what it is. Okay, so it's this really cool t-shirt. This is definitely going to fit me. Lots of length. Lots of sideways, 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 sideways length, <laughs> sideways. And look how cute this shirt is. You see that? It's a face. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. See, I'm trying not to let it. There we go. Gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so. And it has stretch. Look at that. Cannot go wrong. Okay. Then I got this one. This is a 4XL. Because there's a lot of things that are not 5XL. And even if they're 5XL, it doesn't mean it's going to fit me. No, it does not. A lot of the times I read the measurements and I'm like, I'm not even going to be able to put, put an arm through there. So this is a skirt. And it does have a stretch waist. Okay, fabric is stretchy. I always check to see if the fabric has stretch so I know it'll fit me. I'll be comfortable, I'm not wasting my money. And it has this great cartoon that has like you, nice to meet you, how are you, friendship first, competition later, 
the brightest star in the world look omg i like you it has all these positive affirmations but it's just so cute because it's all in like in a cartoon and i love that so this is a fun piece to throw on with like a black t-shirt and some flats or tennis shoes white red tennis shoes yellow tennis shoes super cute boom just a fun piece to throw on and then this one is a 5XL. I'm going to see about trying to do a try on for you guys. I can't. I don't want to promise anything because it all depends on how my leg is doing. So I'm going to I'm going to try to get these pieces, put them on the side. And when I have a good day, I'm going to try to try them on for you. OK, but no promises. I know you guys enjoy that and you prefer that. So you have a better understanding, especially if you're plus size, my size. Okay, so here's another really cute shirt. Now, this one is so cute. Oh, man. Okay. As you can see, yeah, baby. You see all that color and shimmer? Yes! And this should have stretch. Yes, it has stretch. So this is going to be great. Fun one to try on and to rock, baby. Yes! I'm trying to update my look. I really am. Because this is like a dress. This is from Shein. And it's a long dress all the way down to the floor. Um, but this is like an autumn or winter dress that I will wear during autumn or winter. Because I got rid of a lot of my clothing. I donated them. Um, that This didn't fit me anymore. So why hold on to them? You know, pay it forward and let other pe people get blessed. So I'm trying to update my closet and my look. Alright, this one's a 5XL. Alright, let's see what it is. Right. this is another t-shirt I think yes and this has some writing on it so this is one of those shirts like that and you could just throw this on with anything it does have a lot of stretch nice and big this one's like the biggest out of all of them so far um, like I said always look at the measurements so you can have a really good shopping experience and this will look great on top of any kind of legging because I'm like into my leggings right now all right now we're gonna talk about diamond painting kits they have diamond painting kits are economical I buy I buy I have bought them at five dollars six dollars I think the most expensive one I've purchased was nine dollars it comes with everything that you need including the tools to make it everything you need everything including the wax everything it's in here. Everything you need to complete it is in here. Um, this one looks like that. Looks like a rainbow with a really pretty cloud. So these are one of my projects that I'll be working on. I already have one I'm already working on that I started on Pick Motivations channel. And I worked on it just two days ago as well. Um, this one is a fox in like a winter type of a scene I know you can't really see it but that's the best that you're gonna be able to do I think but that's what it looks like and it has the whole kit and I think that Fox one was probably like five or six bucks then this one looks like a bunch of florals because I wanted to do some florals that's really pretty and then I have two more I got this one that's also a floral but it's like a floral in a jug and it's gonna be hard to see because it's on the edge it's like a floral in a jug yeah it's gonna be hard for you to see it's a really pretty floral in a jug and then this one is uh, what is this one another really pretty floral it's a larger style floral okay diamond kids galore so those were all between i think five six dollars for the diamond kits you cannot go wrong if you enjoy diamond diamond painting so amazing next thing i want to share with you are these cute little boxes now these are called food container contact um these are food boxes so you can put like cookies or little things in them and they look like little houses 
little tiny houses and then you build them and then they're like, you know, little boxes. You know why I got these, right? <laughs> I didn't know if this was gonna work or not for my dollhouse miniatures to have one of these boxes put together inside like a little girl's room or something. It might be too big, I don't know, but I wanted to try it and it was worth the while. And I think this was only like three bucks and you get a whole bunch of boxes in here. So you see how many you get? Yeah, so you can't go wrong. Then I did get this hairbrush. Let's take it out. I think this hairbrush might have been $2. I think it was 2 bucks. It had several different kinds. And um, they had several different kinds. And then they had the little balls in the inside. So this one's a flamingo. You can tell it has static in it right now. But it's a nice brush. Has a flamingo look to it. Then I got um, some more of these really cute, what do you call them? Little plastic containers that look like jars. Okay, so this one with the little stripey and it has like the little tag and you can put things inside. You get several of them in a bag as you can tell. Then this one that looks like a jar with the cork. And you can see the size difference right here. And then I do have, I pulled my bags out from the last haul that I shared so you can see the difference because I love these bags. This was in my last haul. So let's compare that to the big one that I have this time. Do you see how the difference is? Okay. Then for my last haul, I shared this one and compare that to this style. Super cute, right? But they're all different. So I was really excited to see that. I pulled those out just to share those with you. For size comparison reasons. Okay, and then they have these really cute pencil holders and they have these little girls on them. And I was like, those are kind of cute. Because uh, I like to have cute things on my desk and I like to have cute things hold my pens and my pencils and my markers. Certain things that I tend to gravitate towards when I'm doing certain things, you know what I'm saying? So, this one is called Little Lady, and it says, I believe I must be the most lovely lady. And she looks like that, and it is a pencil holder, a little pencil pouch, and she looks like that. Then this other one says, I believe I must be the most lovely lady, little lady. And it gives the name for each one. And she's in yellow. And she's holding a teddy bear. Now, I'm pretty sure these were random, meaning that you don't know which one you're going to get. So I chose two, hoping I'd get two separate ones, two different ones, and I did. Because sometimes it's, it's random, and sometimes you'll get the same two of the same thing instead of two different things. So I was glad they sent me two different things. All right. Then I did get some fish hooks in gold and in bronze and silver. Gold, silver, bronze, and then a darker silver. These are just, you know, for me to make jewelry. So it's all four in here. And I believe this was a dollar. I was like, I'm getting them. I am getting those. Then um, they had these, they had the chain. Now, if you like to make jewelry, you know, some people don't like to use chain. I like to use chain and incorporate chain whenever possible. I, I used to use a lot of metal wiring, metal wire work. And with my, you know, my hands getting a little older, it's taking like a toll on my hands. So I'm kind of weaning away from that. And I decided to pick up some, um, some of this, uh, what do you call it, um, chain. So I got this nice big thing of chain. I got this one in the gold. And these are all like $2 each, 2 or $3 each. And it's a pretty good amount. Then I got this one in black. And these are also good for all kinds of other projects. You don't have to just use this for jewelry, you guys. You can use it for anything, anything at all. Anything that your heart desires, you can use that with. Then I did get it in this color too. Let me show you. 
because I know it. Did I get two in black? No, this one's bronze, I think. Is this black and black or bronze and bronze? Oh, they're two different. Okay. I know you can't tell because they're wrapped up and I don't want to unwrap them. But they're two different type of black chain. One's bigger, one's smaller because this, the, the, the type of chain it is, it has a bigger, a bigger, you know, loop. This one has a smaller loop. Okay. So that's the differences in that. Then I got this. And this is for like, um, to put on a purse, hang it off your tote. I thought it was absolutely magical. And you can put it this way. You can put it with your key ring or you can put it like this on your purse, hanging off the side of one of your pretty purses. Yes. And it had the A with the pearls on it. And I love, love, love this look. So I had to get this, and I think this one was $2, 2 or $3, and there's a good amount of space in there, actually. <laughs> Love that. Then I also want to share with you that I got some washi. Now, I have not bought washi in a very long time because um, I let my boys use up the majority of my washi. If you don't use your washi, your washi will go bad on you, and it will not stick. So it's important that if you buy washi that you actually use it or it'll just go bad. So I saw this set and I believe this was like two bucks and I had to get it. Look at those different designs. Absolutely gorgeous. And that one even has a little girl on there. This one kind of looks like carpeting and so pretty. So <laughs> I got that. Then, um, the last thing for this haul, and I'm going to do a separate video, I got these. These are the suede. Yeah, this is like the suede um, to make jewelry. So you got, you got your brown suede, you got your chocolate, and you got your tan. Okay, so you got some faux suede in here. It should be faux. I don't think it's... I don't think it's real suede. I think it's faux. But again, you don't have to use this just for jewelry. You can use it for absolutely anything in the world. Anything in the world, okay? So that is it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you come back because I have more to share with you. Bye.